Hey guys, Lord here, and today I wanted to make a really quick guide on how to guard point effectively using the charge blade in Monster Hunter Rise. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you may have some questions, like what's a guard point? Well, in short, it's any animation where your shield is directly in front of you will have a short period or time frame where it can guard without you actually pressing and holding the guard button. It's a rather advanced charge blade technique that takes good timing and lots of practice, but you can become very good at it and greatly increase your damage potential with this weapon. Why would you guard point when you can just block with the shield using the guard button? So a guard point allows you to chain into other moves directly out of it that are not always available out of a normal block. We will cover those moves in depth soon. Well, okay, so how do I guard point? Well, there are many ways to proc a guard point. There are lots of animations in the Charge Blade moveset that give you the ability to guard point. However, we will be looking at the easiest and most commonly used of these guard points, which is the morphing guard point. By pressing ZR plus X while in sword mode, your weapon will begin to convert to axe mode. During this animation, there is a nice window right when you press it where your shield is directly in front of you. By timing this properly, you can block an incoming attack from the front. You will know that you blocked it by the unique sound cue that it produces. And if your shield is charged, you will see a sparking animation based on the file type. I would definitely recommend working on timing this before moving on to the follow up moves. So as far as the follow ups go, there are two main moves you'll be chaining your guard point into, which are the Amped Element Discharge, or the AED, and the Super Amped Element Discharge, also known as the SAED. Upon performing a successful guard point, you can go directly into either of these moves with no additional combos necessary. So when you perform a successful block using a guard point, you can immediately press X and A at the same time to go into your SAED, which will look something like this. This is one of your highest damage attacks with Charge Blade, and so using the Guard Point shortcut to get to it quickly will greatly improve your DPS. To go into an AED, you will perform the Guard Point successfully, press X and A at the same time, just like you were going into an SAED, but then you will hold X and hold back on the left stick. It will look something like this. So the advantages to using an AED over the Super Amped Element Discharge is that when the AED hits, it unleashes three files on the point of impact at the cost of only one of your charged files. So let's say you're using impact files and going for a KO, this is a really good way to build up stun on a monster quickly. By landing an AED on the head, you essentially get three times the knockout power of one file. Now, there are of course many other uses for guard points, as well as other ways to guard point. However, this is the easiest to time, and once you have it down, will become an extremely useful move in your charge blade moveset. Again, this is more of a basic guide to guard pointing, and doesn't cover 100% of uses, situations, and types of guard points. So guys, if you learned something new or the video really helped you out, feel free to drop a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more Monster Hunter content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy hunting!